Oh dear, just had to adjust the camera there. Sorry about that, everybody. Of course, uh, I just needed to adjust that the camera. So, uh, but of course, we've actually that was me. Uh, of course, uh, seventh game that I uh, I got on the PlayStation uh, One. Of course. Uh, a very, very, uh, I'm very, very pleased uh, for getting that game. It was really a real great game, of course, absolutely fantastic. And uh, and also, uh, I go back to some of the games that I have actually got recently on the PlayStation One. Uh, the next one, of course, now I had been waiting to get this for quite some time because I wanted to buy this, of course, quite a while ago. But the problem was, of course, since there's, it, it's not really a rare game, I would say. But um, of course. I would say that this game is, uh, of course, well, it, it, it is quite difficult to get your hands on because when I tried to buy this game, I, uh, I wanted to, uh, uh, of course, uh, there were loads of versions of this game, uh, but of course, uh, people were selling the, this game for like ridiculous and, of course, egregious amounts of money. Which I just think is absolutely ridiculous. But the game, of course, that I uh, I managed to get uh, and I really, really wanted, of course, I'm very, very pleased with this game. And uh, and that is Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Yes, of course, uh, uh, this is an absolute brilliant game. This is actually one of my favourite games uh, from the Crash Bandicoot series. I don't own any of the like the recent ones that came out on the PlayStation 2. I, I used to own the first one on the PlayStation, but the game got scratched, unfortunately. But I still do own the second one, which was uh, uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. And, uh, and also, I can tell you a little story here, of course. Um, I did previously used to have this game, but one of my aunties and uncles used to have a PlayStation, an old PlayStation 1, and they used to have this game. And, of course, uh, there was one time when I actually asked to borrow this game from them. And, uh, and of course, uh, I actually had it for a time. But then uh, I had to give it back to them. But then, uh, of course, quite a while afterwards, they actually sold, of course, the PlayStation 1 console. And even the games that they actually had, which I was a bit disappointed with. Because also, there was even the game of Speed Freaks as well. Which, if of course, if you have heard, of course, of Speed Freaks, it was like a... It was, it was like a, a spin-off of Mario Kart, in a way. Uh, of course, I know I have actually got a, another similar game, that, which is based on the Crash series, which is Crash Team Racing, which is, of course, like a, a Crash Bandicoot version, as I said, of Mario Kart. Uh, but a real fun game to play, and you can play all the characters, of course, from the game of Crash Bandicoot. Not just Crash himself, but also you can play as his, uh, his little sister, Coco Bandicoot. And also um, some of the like other friendly characters, but also you can even play the villains as well. Of uh, of course, as I said, like uh, Tiny Tiger and uh, Doctor Neo Cortex, or or Engine and uh, and Ripperoo and all those type of uh, enemies that that used to appear in the previous old games of Crash Bandicoot. But this is a real real fun game, of course. Uh, this and. Um, and I did play it yesterday, and of course, uh, I, I just absolutely love this game. The, the music in the game was really fun to listen to, and, uh, and all the power-ups that, of course, that you have as, of course, as Crash is, is really, really good, where, of course, you can, you can do, like, uh, double jumps, you can do a powerful belly flop, you can also, uh, you can also equip a fruit bazooka, which actually, as you can see, that's what it is, uh, him there, that's, uh, that's the Fruit Bazooka, of course, he actually has. Sorry, I, I, I've got these two stickers on the game. I, I don't know why I actually... Uh, it, it, they, of course, the game, is, when I got it, actually came with these two stickers on, which I'm a bit annoyed about. But uh, uh, it's a real good game, though. But as I said, uh, uh, the, the, the Fruit Bazooka in this is so cool. Of course, you can fire Wumpa Fruits out of it. And, of course, you can, like, shoot uh, anything with it. And it's uh, really, really fun. And all the levels are really, really good. Of course, uh, it's supposed to be based where you have to collect uh, crystals and gems uh, scattered across time. So, like, of course, you have, like, levels in, in of course, Arabia. Of course, like, Saudi Arabia. Uh, also, of course, um, in um, medieval times. Um, also, uh, uh, of course, um, let me think... Uh, also, Egyptian times, and of course, an Egyptian tomb. Uh, also, the First World War, where you can even, uh, of course, uh, take control of a biplane as well, which is really fun. And uh, 
and lots of other things. But also, as you can see, you can even also uh, drive a motorbike in this game. As you can see, also crashes on there, which is really, really cool. Uh, which is really, really fun. And that is brilliant. That is what really one of my favourite things from this game. I just, I just love playing, of course, this uh, the, some of the, the motorbike levels. They're just so cool. Of course, as you can see, um, I know you can't see it on the game because of the stickers, but it really does look cool and when you can see Crash uh, with, of course, that leather coat uh, he's got on and uh, and those cool sunglasses as well. He, he really does look quite cool in that. I mean, of course, have you ever seen a, 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 a bandicoot like dressed up like that, eh? Only in the game. <laughs> but a real superb game, absolutely great to play. And, of course, uh, I'll try and also do a review of it whenever I can. So anyway, of course, uh, let me get these last two games out of the way. Of course, uh, the penultimate game that I actually have is another famous uh, game that I really wanted. I really also, as I said, I, I wanted it because I, uh, I really liked the demo version of this. It's a, it's a sports game, and it's, of course, uh, based on a sport that I, I have actually watched quite a lot, but... Uh, uh, of course, I have played a bit of it as well, but uh, it, oh, to play it in the game is, is also great. Of course, I haven't got many games of this type of sport, but uh, it really is great, a uh, great game. And, uh, and it's also officially licensed by, of course, one of the most famous, of course, uh, uh, female uh, tennis players. Yes, of course, uh, since I've just gave it away now, it is a tennis game. And, of course, the game is Anna Kornikova's Smash Court Tennis. Uh, of course, uh, which uh, uh, Namco made, and as I said, this is an official, uh, of course, uh, game uh, done, uh, of course, uh, licensed by the very famous Russian tennis player herself, of Anna Kornikova, who, of course, was a very, very famous female tennis player back in the day, and um, and she uh, she did win many of the main tennis tournaments. I think, uh, from memory, I think I do remember that. Um, uh, I think she did win the U.S. Open uh, quite a while ago, but I don't think she won Wimbledon, though, uh, unfortunately. But, uh, um, well, I think that's all I can remember. But the game is really, really fun to play. You can you can play, of course, uh, you can play the game tennis with loads of great characters, uh, of course, as well. And, uh, and you've got uh, loads of uh, great, uh, of course, uh, places where you can, uh, where different types of courts, so where you can, you can play like, of course, uh, uh, not just in like the proper like um, courts that you have at, uh, when you, they properly play like Grand Slam tennis, you know, like those big, of course, major tennis tournaments, but also you can play them like on, uh, in, of course, uh, streets, of course, you can play on the streets, of course, in like Tokyo or, of course, uh, in uh, in uh, New York and uh, and there's loads of other places as well. But uh, it's really a great fun game, and also as I said, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's quite a humorous game as well. But sometimes it, this game can annoy you sometimes if things don't go your way. Because uh, I've actually got annoyed at this game sometimes. Yes, that is true. Of course, I uh, I have got annoyed when things don't go my way on this game. Because you know. Well, I'm not a bad loser, of course, when playing games, or I'm, I'm not a rage quitter, of course. No, 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 of course not. But um, when sometimes, if it is necessary, I, of course, I will have to, like, um, you know, you know, like, be a bit rude, unfortunately. But that's a typical me, of course. You don't see me, of course, uh, be rude, of course, in some of my videos. Well, I think you may have seen me be a bit, little, a little bit rude, but, of course... Of course, just the normal me. Of course, I'm just, uh, of course, a horrible foul mouth grump. <laughs> but um, no, as I said, it's a, it's a superb game. Of course, Anaconda Cobra Smash Court Tennis. There we go. I'll just zoom it in a little bit more. And uh, and it's a real, real fun game. And uh, and finally, I've got up to the last game, of course, which I have on the PlayStation One. And of course, uh, as I said, I mentioned earlier on with a previous game that I got on the PlayStation Two of uh, of the course of the Italian job, LA Heist. I have got the original first version of the PlayStation 1 version of it, from of the original film. And there it is, of course, the Italian job made by, of course, Sales Curve Interactive. Um, also, Pixie Logic Limited, and also, um, also licensed by also Paramount, which made the original film. And, uh, and to be quite honest, this is a real fun game. I've played this quite recently, and as I said, it's very, very similar to the original film. Of course, you, you drive all the cars from the film, 
and uh, and you get to see all the old classic like bits from the film, especially of course the most I think memorable moment from of course uh, from the film is where of course. Um, one of uh, Charlie Croker's uh, people that tries, you know, when they're practicing to, about to, of course, steal the four million dollars of gold bullion in Turin in Italy. Of course, when they try to blow up the van, of course, when they're practicing to try and blow up the, the van with the gold in it. But, of course, they actually blew up a van uh, and they completely destroyed it. And, of course, I remember, of course, Charlie Croker saying, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> yeah, of course, that is one of the most memorable phrases from that, and the memorable, the most memorable quote from, of course, that film, and um, and also not to mention in the in that very, of course, very, uh, of course, uh, great classic line from, of course, in that very, very, of course, uh, very thrill-seeking uh, cliffhanger moments from the film. Of course, was when, of course, uh, when Charlie said, "Hang on a minute, lads, I've got a great idea." Uh. Uh, <laughs> it was really, really funny, but uh, I think I've done a good impression there. I think I actually think I made a good impression there, of course, of Charlie Croker. What did you think of that? Do let me know, of course. Like, comment, and subscribe on this video. <laughs> well, of course, anyway, that's it. That's all of my, uh, of course, that is the end of my massive, of course, one and only bumper pickup video. And I'm very, very pleased. Of course, I can't believe that I've got... 15 games in total. I can't believe that. That is really, really something. No, no, so, sorry, my mistake. Uh, 20 games I have. So, of course, as I said, I've got, uh, of course, as I said, I've got uh, 10 PlayStation 1 games. And also, as I said, uh, also, uh, of course, uh, 5 Xbox 360 games. And also, 5 PlayStation 2 games. So, let me see if I can just try and uh, get them... All in the shot as well. Let me have a look. There we go. Let me see if I can try and get them. There we go. I can just move the camera down. Uh, of course, because I actually put them on a table here. Oh, a little bit more. Uh, ah, there we go. There you go. You get a great picture there, of course, of all the games there I have. And, um, and that's uh, all of my uh, pickups, of course, that I had got for over the last, of course... Uh, I would say the last three months I've been uh, picking up these uh, games, uh, but um, I'm very, very pleased with these games, and uh, and honestly, I'm uh, very, very proud of them. So, uh, anyway, uh, of course, I can even just pile them up here as well. Oh, my God, look at this. Absolutely, it's, it's almost... Look how tall it is. My goodness me. Oh, and it's actually just... Uh, just reaching up to the top of my, of course, uh, just reaching the top of my head there. But uh, there we go. That's all, of course, my, uh, all my 20, of course, pickups in this massive, of course, bumper, of course, pickup video. Well, uh, that's it, everybody. Of course, I know it has been uh, a quite a, a three months wait uh, for, for this video, but uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, and if you do want me to review any of these games, of course, either the Xbox 360 games, or, of course, uh, the PlayStation 2 ones just down in the middle, and also my PlayStation 1 games from any of the ones that you have seen in this video, do, uh, give me, uh, of course, do, of course, uh, give me, do, of course, uh, uh, comment below and uh, if you want me to see to do any uh, game reviews because I, I would love to because as I said I am starting to review of course uh, games now of course as I said and uh, and I haven't still unfortunately uh, not reviewed uh, of course I haven't had a chance to do red card uh, of course uh, football the game of red card football uh, unfortunately of course as I said I haven't had time to do that but I will hopefully try to get that done and, uh, of course, I will uh, eventually try to do the review. And I'll try and do that as soon as possible. But anyway, of course, I'm just coming up to one minute left. But, uh, of course, on the, on this uh, video, because, of course, as you know, I can only do 15-minute videos. Because, as I said, I've got a copyright sanction, of course, on my uh, channel. Since I can't upload videos more than 15 minutes. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe to my channel, which is, of course, Jackpot Button Lewis. And, uh, and also, you can find out all the latest. Uh, do subscribe for all the latest updates uh, of videos that uh, I'm going to be uploading very, very soon. And a load of other things. 
But until then, of course, I've only just got 20 seconds left on this video. But until then, from me, Jack Wright, you've been watching, of course, this, of course, bumper pickup video. And until next time, au revoir, adios, or wiedersehen. This is me, Jack Wright, now as Jackpot Butler's, signing off for now. Goodbye.